Hey everybody, Travis Bowman here with a really short video on burning CD-based games for your older video game consoles. So in front of me we've got the PC Engine Duo R on the left and the Sega CD on the right. The idea is that you want to check out some of these older games, but you don't want to pay the inflated prices for what they're going for these days. Some of these games are upwards of a thousand dollars. It's absolutely ridiculous. Either you're trying to just play some games on your original hardware, or you already have these games and you're just trying to play them on backups. Either way, this video is going to be helpful for you. So the big issue that I've had when I've been trying to do this sort of thing is that I usually have some issues crop up after I burn the game. You definitely want to be burning games onto a CD-R, not a CD-RW, and this is just your standard 700 megabyte, and this is a copy of the Terminator for the Sega CD. The issue that I was having with this and other games like this that I've burned is the fact that it skips a lot, the loading times are ridiculous, and uh, in extreme cases, I've had my hardware make some really nasty grinding noises just trying to read the data off of these discs. So there are really two things that you really want to watch out for when you're burning these games to get a good clean burn, and this is something that I've learned over trial and error and help from more experienced friends in this subject, the two things that really will make a good burn versus a bad burn is your write speed. For these older consoles, you know, these two right here, these are the first CD-based consoles pretty much. I mean, the TurboGrafx CD was kind of the first one, and then the Sega CD kind of came right afterwards. These are old, old consoles that have a difficult time reading discs if they're burned at a, at a high speed, like 16x and above, and even in some cases 8x. I think 4x is really the, the, the hot spot for getting these burns really nice and clean. Now the second thing that you want to watch out for is the quality of your CDRs. You can still get a big bundle of blank CDRs like this from Philips on uh, Amazon or eBay brand new sealed and, and stuff like that and you can get them for pretty cheap You can get like a hundred of these for very cheap. So that's one example It's hard to see because I wrote over it, but this is a verbatim. It's the same sort of situation It's a CDR with 700 megabytes of storage on it. The problem is these are not super high quality These are kind of the the bottom of the barrel. I mean verbatim might be a, a bit higher quality than Philips but the point is if you want a good burn that you know is going to work, you're going to need that 4x speed, and if you really don't want to take any chances, get you something like this. These are uh, verbatim Ultra Life Gold Archival Grade CDRs. The difference is, this, these are really high quality, and uh, you know they're very shiny on either side but these are the ones that you want to get for these older consoles and yeah i'm sure you could get away with just using the phillips or the the regular verbatims if you just want to burn a couple of games honestly man if you're looking for a, a good experience that you know is going to be quality then uh, you definitely want to pay that extra money i mean this right here online for 50 of those it's like 60 bucks or something like that if you can still find them you know there's all sorts of different uh, brands of these cdrs that are high grade but that's what you're looking for you're looking for the the best grade cdr that you can find because you want to have the best burn that you can find because you want the best gaming experience that you can find right you might have a computer that doesn't have a cd drive in it any longer this is a digital age that we're living in and you know cd drives they're all different as far as what can they do can they burn cds can they burn dvds are they capable of that sort of thing when i upgraded my pc i no longer had that CD drive so I had to think of other methods. The problem is when we're looking at the CD drives uh, most of them are designed to burn at really high speeds and uh, that's not what we want. The slower the better for some of these old consoles. I started asking around and I talked to my friend Cody and he let me borrow this. This is an external Blu-ray CD drive here and I'll put the model and everything in the description for you to check it out but this is the one that he has used for quite some time to burn all sorts of stuff this is the BDR-XD05B so he let me borrow this and sure enough it let me burn at 4x speed because this is designed 
for like Blu-ray stuff, you really want to burn those Blu-rays at a low speed as well. That's the, the thing that we're looking for. And, that, and for a long time, like I just, I had no idea where to go. I was even trying to deal with maybe purchasing some older CD drives from the 90s and, and trying to throw that in my PC. This one's uh, not too old, but it's not brand new. So this was manufactured in 2018 here. I got on eBay to try to find one of these for myself and I could not find this exact model. However, I did find this one which is also made by Pioneer. This is pretty much the same sort of situation, but it's a little bit of an older drive, and this is the BDR-XD05S. So really the only difference between these two is that one letter at the end. It, this, this one's B and this one's S, and this is older. This was made in 2014 compared to this one, which is four years newer. So this is the one I decided on, and it, it works just fine. I set it to 4X speed, and it's actually burning at 3.5, which is totally fine for me. And I've got some really good burns out of this guy. So those are two examples of what you can do as far as burning these games, and of course, the software that we're trying to use more often than not is going to be called Image Burn. That's the one that's been around for quite some time and that's probably your best bet if you want to burn some of these old games in that BinQ format for these old consoles. So I was struggling with this for quite a while and uh, I just kind of gave up on it for a while because I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to spend any money without knowing that it would be a drive that would burn these games at a lower speed. I had some help from some friends who know a lot more about this stuff than I do, so I figured I'd share it with you guys here because, you know, I've been all over Reddit and there are so many different polarizing opinions as far as how to do this, but this has absolutely worked for me. And I'll, I'll give you a little example of what my Sega CD Model 1 sounded like with these regular old Philips CDRs that were burned at 8x speed. You can tell with those grinding noises, that's not supposed to happen. You're not supposed to hear that on your Sega CD. And what we're actually hearing is is not good. It's wear and tear on your hardware. And we're trying to preserve this kind of stuff, right? We're not trying to damage it. So it's worth it to spend the extra money on the higher grade CDRs. And it's worth it to spend some extra money on an external drive that's going to help do what we want and that's play games while prolonging the life of our beloved system. I hope you guys really got some good information out of this. If you have any tips, anything like that, feel free to share them in the comment section below. This is meant to be informative because like I said, it took me a long time to try to figure all this out and I had no idea that these actually existed. I had no idea that there were archival grade CDRs that you could buy, but they're out there and I'll put a link in the description to where you can find some. So really appreciate you checking this video out. Hope you found it informative and I'll see you guys at the next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.